Hi, I'm Charlie White and today I'm going to show you a really easy way to clean your shower waste. Today I'm cleaning a high flow shower tray waste. If you've got a low profile shower tray, the chances are you've got one of these too. It's a really good idea to keep your shower waste clean and free of debris, hair, all that sort of stuff because the shower waste itself can be accessed and therefore cleaned really easily but the pipes that run from the shower waste into the drains can't. So you don't want, so you want to catch all the debris and get rid of it before it goes from the shower waste itself into the drains. Okay, in today's toolkit we've got a bucket of soapy water to wash the past the shower waste with. We've got a screwdriver, I'll show you why we need that in a minute. We've got a cloth and we've got a spray bottle and some vinegar. I find a diluted solution of vinegar to be the best bathroom cleaning agent because it's a really natural way to clean your shower tray and the tiles and the silicon, all of which you don't really want to use a very acidic based cleaner for. And I've also got some kitchen roll to collect the hair and other gunk that you can pull out of the waste. I'm also going to include in today's toolkit an, an old paintbrush or an old toothbrush because it's a really useful way of cleaning the hair trap. Telltale sign that your shower waste needs cleaning is you're getting a lot of water gathering around the waste and it's not sucking down into the uh, into the waste properly. So standing water in the shower and you basically need to get your shower waste clean. Okay, so we're gonna take the cover off the waste and look at that. Not very nice. So the first thing I'm gonna do using my screwdriver, which has got the Phillips head PZ2 screwdriver attachment on it, is I'm gonna reach into the shower waste itself because it's going to be really hard to pull all the hair and stuff out without taking apart the cover off the top of the waste. So, putting my screwdriver into the middle. And I'm just going to undo the screw that attaches the white plastic part of the waste to the chrome effect cover. Okay, that now comes apart and you can see already just how easy, much easier it's going to be to clean this. So that's going to go in a bucket to soak for a couple of minutes. Now, using the kitchen roll, I'm going to basically get rid of the worst of the hair. Screws just come out the bottom. Okay, that's already looking a lot better, isn't it? Again, in the bucket for a bit of soak. I'm now gonna use a little bit more of the kitchen roll just to clear away the worst of the stuff from around the waist. I'm also gonna remove the removable water container, I guess you'd call this the odor trap. And I'm gonna plonk that in the bucket as well to give it a bit of a clean. Now using some distilled vinegar, I'm gonna make a quick cleaning solution in an old spray bottle. I'm going to spray a reasonable amount of vinegar into the container. You can see it just down there. I think that'll, that'll be quite a good strength mixture. I've put a little bit of water in the spray. So I've got about one part vinegar to four parts water, something like that. And now I'm going to give the shower waste itself a really good spray. Let that sink in. Let's go back into our bucket of tricks and see what we've got. The odour trap, I'm just going to give that a wipe with the kitchen roll. Clean the hair off it and most of the residue. Now I'm going to give that a spray with the vinegar. And give it a wipe with the cloth. Okay, see that's now beautifully clean. I'm going to do the same thing here, spray with the vinegar, give it a wipe with the cloth. You can see how difficult it would be to do this if we hadn't already removed the hair trap first. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Another quick rinse in the water. 
I think it's good as new. Okay, now for the chrome cover. So I think this is called a hair trap as well. So I've given it a spray with the vinegar. Now I'm just wiping it with the cloth. Another quick rinse in the bucket. Another spray. Now if you've got paintbrush or an old toothbrush, now would be a good time to use it because you can just get into all the little bits that's hard to reach with a cloth. Okay, another rinse in the bucket. Okay, that's looking pretty good. We can now reattach the two parts of the hair trap. Now, this is a little bit fiddly. The way I do it is I put the screw back on the screwdriver and then Keep, hold it with my finger on the screwdriver and then insert that back into the hole like that and then thread it through and then with the screwdriver still attached reattach the other part of the hair trap and then screw it into place. You don't want to over tighten this because it's only plastic so when you feel it going a little bit tight that's good enough. Now going back to the shower waste itself Another quick spray and then I'm just going to lightly wipe around the entrance to the waste with the cloth. It would be tempting to use some sort of a scourer here but you don't want to scratch your shower enclosure or dare I say it, take off any silicon that's around here. Now I'm going to put the cloth into the waste itself and just clean around to remove any soap scum and dirt and anything that's left. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Things left to do, put the odour trap back in, and then your carefully cleaned hair trap stroke chrome cover. Give that a bit of a wipe. So, run the shower again. Because all the hair has been removed, there's no standing water now. The water is just going straight down into the shower waste and out, out through the drain. So I hope you found this video useful today. If you're new to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. The link here takes you to my channel where you can subscribe and access all my other DIY content. And as ever, I'd love to hear from you. So if you've got any questions or comments about this video or any project you're working on, then please leave it in the comment section below one of my videos because there's nothing I like more than trying to help people with whatever problems they're facing on each project.